Today, doing baked mac and cheese. We got the panko, we got the butter. That's gonna go on top of it. I'm gonna be doing a bechamel along with a uh, bacon crumble. And all this is gonna be put together, added to this baking dish, and then baked so that there's a nice golden brown crust. And I've literally got 50 minutes exactly till the girls come home. So I gotta get going. They're gonna be hungry. Hopefully they love this, so let's see. First thing I'm gonna do, cook the bacon. Just to get that going. I like to put it on a tray like this. Lined with foil, spread out, 16 minutes. When it comes to the bacon, I like to get it crispy. Personally, I like it between crispy and a little bit soft because I like the chew, but when I'm doing a baked mac and cheese, since I'm gonna throw it into the cheese itself, it needs to hold up, it still needs to have that texture, so a little bit overdone is okay with this because it'll bake inside of that bechamel cheese sauce. I'm just using pasta that I got from Costco. This is, what is it called? Casa Leche. Does that sound authentic? Casa Leche. Oh, I forgot. You wanna add the salt so that your pasta is nice and flavored. I'm just gonna follow the directions here. I am gonna cook it a little bit beyond al dente because I actually don't want the chew. Because this is for the kids, and even though it will bake for a little bit, if not very long, I just, I don't want, I don't want the chew. So what's it say? 11 minutes. I'm using both mozzarella and this smoked cheddar because that's all I have. All right, next thing I'm gonna do is start the bechamel. I've been heating the pan up for a while, so it's ready to go, as you already know. Butter first. One thing I am gonna do, I'm kinda back and forth about it, but I'm going to heat the milk up. I'm just gonna get it warm because it does make for a faster bechamel. I have done it both with cold milk and warm milk. Definitely, if you're looking to do this really quickly, warm milk all the way. You don't want it scalding or anything like that, so I'm just gonna heat it for a hot second. All right, time to put the flour in. Integrate that flour into the butter and cook it. I don't want it to brown, so I'm just gonna make sure it's all incorporated. Start to get that buttery toast smell. Nutmeg. All right, so the bechamel is done. It's nice and creamy. Liquid enough though. Add the cheese little by little. I only have mozzarella. Ideally you'd want to use cheddar, something a little more flavorful. But because of the kids, I, uh, this is the only mild cheese I have. I don't have cheddar, so I'm gonna also put Parmesan. With the bacon, I think it's all gonna come together. Hopefully they can forgive me for not having cheddar. Oh baby, look at this. Woo! I mean, look at this. Do you think they'll like this? Oh wow, yeah for sure. I'm also gonna add some Parmesan cheese. I'm basically making the same sauce I put inside of my Lasagna. This is the exact ingredients, the exact ratios. So it'll be interesting. I have a feeling the girls will like it. I'm going to check on the bacon. But yeah, that's perfect. Turn off the heat.
Thank you. Welcome. All right, now I can actually start putting all this together. You know, with baked mac and cheese, I never cook the same recipe twice. It's always a little bit different because oftentimes it's something I don't plan out. I just make it when I feel we have all the ingredients or I want to cook it for the kids. And so I just try different things with it. Just make sure they're broken apart before I start mixing cheese in there. Add the cheese, which is it's a lot of cheese. Nothing worse than mac and cheese when there's not enough cheese. Not, not enough gooiness. bacon in there. Now, typically I don't add the bacon inside because some of the girls don't like the bacon, but because there's no cheddar in there, I kind of want to make up for that lack of flavor. This is the first time I've ever mixed mac and cheese with my hand like this, but it's, I'm only doing it because I have these gloves. Last thing I'm going to do is that melted butter. I'm going to put right into the panko breadcrumbs. Same thing here. I'm gonna add a little salt in here. And the rest of this cheese right on top. Oh, that's perfect. So I am gonna let this rest for about five, 10 minutes. The girls are gonna be home literally any second now. So by the time they get settled, uh, put away everything, this and the broccolini will be ready to go. In fact, I think I hear them right now. <clears throat> I'm actually surprised that I got this done in an hour. That's the fastest I've ever made this dish. Girls? Yes. Who wants mac and cheese? Uh, Is anybody hungry? They only had chicken burgers. They only had chicken burgers? Yeah. Wow, bye bye. Okay, here we go. Is that mine? This is yours. Or do you not want this? I don't like the plate. You don't like the plate? Okay, go ahead and get your own plate. Who wants this plate? You want this one? Very hot. Yes? It's not really cheesy. It's more like saucy. Wow. You know what? It looks like the mac and cheese at um Panera Bread. Mm. I wanted it down. Honey, I mean, that's delicious. You I love it. Really? Kudos to you. I need your help at Costco. They have extra samples oh. today and I can't eat them all. Daddy, can we go to the Can we go at two stores? Two stores? Daddy. Okay, let's go to two stores. Girls, on a scale of one to ten, how is it? The mac and cheese. <laughs> 10? Okay, Juliana gives the 10. No, an 11. And you're a 4 out of 10? Okay, what about you? You want a small ball? <laughs> 9, because I don't really like bacon inside it. Mmm. mac and cheese. Is there bacon in it? Uh-oh. <laughs> Me! You like a baby! No, a I baby. didn't. I didn't oh. sleep with Pikachu, no. <laughs> if I sleep with Pikachu, I'm a baby. <laughs> <laughs> Leah, you sleep with something else. Does that make you a baby? Mm-hmm. <laughs> How is it? Leah, did that thing which you did? 